guys welcome to another medina minute in today's video i'll be looking on acne vulgaris now acne is formed when sebum that is produced from the sebaceous gland in the skin um, accumulates along with dead cells and your keratin which are proteins in the skin to block the pores and when the pores are blocked bacteria comes along causes inflammation especially a p acnes bacteria and this leads to the pimple formation now the most common form of this is your comedones which are your black heads so they are open comedones so oxygen causes it to be black and you have your closed comedones now which are not exposed and therefore forms your white head. Now, there are another form of acne, such as nodular acne, as you can see, with pustules being formed, having a lot of pus. And there is severe acne called cystic acne, and these lead to a lot of scar formation. Now, end results of acne are hyperpigmentation after these pimples are healed. Now, for prevention, you should eat more probiotics, which good bacteria, your omega-3 fatty acid, antioxidants to get rid of free radicals which are bad for your skin zinc which cause renewal of your skin eat less dairy dairy products are the worst for acne and food with high glycemic um, index such as sweet foods are also your fast food now for acne treatments you can use antibiotics these are oral antibiotics such as doxycycline peroxide peroxide or benzyl peroxide is the most common um, treatments you can use retinoid such as vitamin a laser treatment to get rid of those hyperpigmentation you can also extract these comedones do chemical peel to rejuvenate your skin diet as we said before aloe vera basically to soothe your skin and get rid of hyperpigmentation and ice of course for inflammation now always confirm with your dermatologist to find out what acne treatment is best for you and what type of acne you have that's it for medina minute see you in the next one Bow!